So here, now that we've got this, we just want to now fix up this mesh. I'm going to take some of these guys out. It's really just those simple tools that we're going to be using now. Make sure you've got your scene saved. You're saving this as post, see your remesh final after the zero mesh shot. And now we just want to get into sort of moving this mesh around a little bit into place. So I'm using a lot of the move tool here. And technically this is not really a, a very kosher sculpt workflow, but I find it works really well, especially if you're used to Maya where you're used to doing a lot of grab. Once you get used to ZBrush, you'll start using the sculpt tools in Maya a lot more too. So just here, just looking at that mesh and seeing, oh, hey, it's a bit too wide. Bring that back. Now it's a bit hard to see the background image now. So let's just bring that back. So I'll click here, image planes, cameras, and then we've got our enhance opacity. Bring that right up and our enhance factor right up as well. And we can start to see now, oh yeah, our meshes are a little bit out. So come around to the side here. I'm just going to mask out that eye area a little bit. Now use a big brush and just move that in a little bit. There's gonna be some lumpiness and stuff here, but just in the orthographic camera, roughly into place. Some of these teeth now are, are really, really wide. You can sort of see how that's now matching it up all a little bit better. So I'm using really big, Move brushes here. Now those teeth, let's not be too worried about the teeth, getting them exact. I just want to sort of get them in a rough place. So by using a big brush, okay, now I think I've lost a couple of teeth there. Either that or it looks like we just can't see them there. So let's have a look at the top view, yeah. And I've still got that eye masked. So just bring that in a little bit and you can see now uh, the shape of a model like this is really coming out more, more of an overbite by the looks of it in the top view. A little bit of subtlety. That'll be better when we sculpt it. We're just matching it up. There's our overbite to match it correctly. Okay, now with this lower level, now that we come back to here, I'm gonna take that off, the grid. Now that we've got that, we've sort of lumped this up a bit. And this is where, when you're not a, a super amazing sculptor yet, it can be a little bit tricky. But if we just trust that our base mesh in this all quads, we can smooth it pretty well. We just wanna like lightly sort of smooth it out around it. Now there's other smoothing algorithms. There are things like the relax. ZBrush Myers relax, but I just want to keep this really simple. Just tap around and get this base mesh forms even better. So before we go through and, and put too much of this detail and you can sort of treat this a little bit like a base mesh in Maya, a little bit. And so we get into these hybrid workflows. On. Okay. And to get these a bit safer and whatever, or a bit sharper, you can just pull them up. There's lots we could do here. We spend a lot of time tweaking this side of the mouth and I don't want to do this for too long just to show you the basics, something like that. Now, because that eye was masked, we've got a little bit of a nasty sort of line there, but that'll go away really easily when we just smooth that and smooth that even a bit more, just get that all sort of happening. So it integrates okay. You can see that we're getting to that sort of a level now. I'm gonna go freeform a little bit here and just make these a little bit nicer. Not too bad actually, that big brush, just bring those teeth out a little bit. So from the front view, we can see them a little bit match up to our original rough a bit better. There we go. And up here, you see that that's lost a bit of that peanutty shape. So we can just move that in a little bit. So Zed Remesher at the default values, I find does a really great job for busts. So this being a bust, this is a bit bigger than a, a usual bust, but I find that this level of sculpting is good. And it, we are losing a lot of the detail. So everyone sort of tries to come in. So I'm just using pitch polish here, but a lot of people try to go too detailed too early. And a lot of it's being pot theory and keeping your mesh is really, really light as long as possible. And then doing your detailing later. And just doing a lot of sculpting because a lot of sculpting will help out with these workflows. Okay, so there we go. So we're, we're not in too bad a place. And even this area here, just bring those out and smoothing them back and just tweaking those shapes. And I would do this for quite a while in a real scenario. But just for this tutorial, we don't really, really want to get bogged down and, and see me tweaking this model forever. I want to keep sort of moving forwards. So H polish even works at these low levels. You can really flatten that area out because this is a sculpt base mesh. And very quickly, we haven't really even done any sculpting much at all here. And we've already got some nice shapes. So now just using big brush, a lot of smooth, get those lines perfect. There we go. And that might be matching pretty well. I like those teeth a bit better that way, but pretty much we're in a good place. It's just a little bit skinnier in the ref. I think that's pretty good.